What's going on YouTube? Eat all the birds. Potato wedge time. A little bit of a twist on these. I'm gonna do these um, on charcoal in a Dutch oven, right here in the shop. You know, uh, whatever I can cook, I have to be able to cook it in the shop. It's part of my, uh, you know, my, my strategy. You know, I've got some food storage. Uh, if my neighbors don't and things get weird, I'm gonna have to kind of sneak around and, uh, you know, live it up. And that's kind of, kind of my thinking. So here's what I did. I got two large russet potatoes. I ate th them up, cut them into eighths um, with the Omora, blotted them off with a paper towel, got them nice and dry. Now I'm just going to throw them all into this big bowl. I've got the charcoal heating up outside in the, uh, in the Weber. You know, that's the smoky part. As soon as that happens, I'll move it inside. So, All right, so I got them in here. A little bit of seasoning salt, your favorite kind. Can be pretty generous with this. This is pretty easy to do. Good dash of olive oil. You can use butter, you can use all kinds of fresh seasonings, you know, anything like that. This is what I do. Give it a quick stir. This is a spoon, by the way, for uh, any new, any being like new to cooking. <laughs> You never know. Alright, they're not quite, not, lots of good oil. That's going to go in the Dutch oven, that extra oil. They're not quite red enough for me. They get a little more seasoning salt. Okay, even that oil's red now. Good stuff. Alright, now, take some all-purpose flour. Do this a little bit at a time. Just kind of coat them evenly. It really doesn't matter. I've been really anal about this before and uh, got them all coated perfectly. There's no difference. So you know, enjoy yourself, make a mess. This is one of those things you can do it the easy way and at the end of the day, you know, you're still eating potato wedges, so. All right, that's about it. Pretty sure I got enough flour on those. Definitely got enough seasoning. I'm gonna go check on the coals, get the Dutch oven heated up, and we'll be chowing down. Stay with me. All right, everybody, coals are white hot. Dutch oven's still cold, got it nice and greased. We're going for 350 degrees, so on a 10 inch Dutch oven, in my mind, that's a, uh, a half ring of seven on the bottom, and then a full ring of, call it 14, on the top. Get my fancy lid lifter, slash tool I use to feed my family. All right, that's gonna work just fine. All right, potato time. They've been sitting around for Maybe five minutes, won't hurt nothing. All right. They go into the cold Dutch oven. Spread them out as best I can. It would be better if I had a giant Dutch oven and I could spread these out to where they don't touch or if I just did less of them, but you gotta work with what you got. So what I found you know, it bakes pretty good, and they've got the oil on them, so this, this works all right. You just have to stir them at least once. All right, so that's heating up. I got no business, since the Dutch oven was cold, I got no business even touching this for 15 minutes. I'll probably wait 20. I'll open it up and stir it. Um, when I do that, I'll turn the Dutch oven, you know, about 90 degrees one way, and I'll turn the lid 90 degrees the other way. Um, that kind of rotates the heat and makes it nice and even. I'll bring you back and uh, show you that. See you in a minute. All right, then we're going for about 20 minutes. I can hear them sizzling and I can start to smell them. Yeah, looking pretty good. All right, can you guys see though? Yeah, it looks pretty good. 
Give them a quick little flick. I'm trying to roll them around a little, not too critical. That's really all you gotta do. A little, me a little messy, but. All right. These are gonna take at least another half an hour. The coal should have enough go-go uh, in them. All right, so that's the way it's been sitting. Lid goes that way. Dutch oven goes that way. Nice and even heat. All right, uh, we'll give it another 15 minutes and I'll bring you back then. All right, everybody, that's it. It turned out perfect. Uh, one thing I do, while the food's cooling off whenever possible, I get right on it and I take care of the Dutch oven or cast iron pan, whatever I'm using. I get it done, I get it out of the way. Real easy to do when it's hot. Gotta keep it nice, lasts a lifetime. Now, uh, a couple of these potatoes fell apart while I was cooking them. Those come out uh, before, you know, to make room for the other ones. They go in a bowl, go in the fridge, they go into eggs tomorrow morning, and they are awesome. So these are the pretty ones that uh, survive till the end, worthy of the ketchup. We'll give them a try. They are still pretty hot. Now, not going to be as crispy as you if you fried them or did them in the oven. Uh, it's just the way it is with the Dutch oven. It holds a lot of the moisture and the steam in there, but they are pretty darn good. Mmm. They're still crispy on the edges and everything. They, yeah, those are fantastic. I haven't made these in a while. All right, so there it is. I got a couple more uh, Dutch oven videos coming up. You know, the weather's not bad. I don't mind sitting around the charcoal. You know, I'm, I've also got a fire pit going in the backyard that I'm working on. We're gonna do some uh, open campfire cooking in, a, in upcoming videos, so. Hope you join me for those. This was a lot of fun, and uh, see you guys next time. Take it easy.